Hi, this is Gali Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling rested because today our quote of the day is, no day is so bad it can't be fixed with a nap by Carrie Snow. To those of you who wake up early to seize the day and reach your highest potential, Napping is a very important part of a healthy body and mind. I personally take a nap whenever I feel tired. When I'm tired while driving, I just stop my car on the, si on the side of the street or in a safe place, pull down my chair and nap for about 20 minutes. If my children are with me, they know that they should be quiet because mommy's nap will soon be over. They sometimes also nap with me. Napping plays an important role in the maintenance of good health and has a direct effect on mental health as well. Research shows that napping improves memory, cognition, alertness, and performance. Napping also reduces body inflammation and improves blood sugar level control and cortisol levels. Napping also improves your mood. Overall, napping helps ensure the body and, and brain function at their best. When you take on the wonderful habit of waking up early between 5 and 6 a.m. and exercise regularly in the morning, and med meditate, and then start your day, you will be amazingly more productive and will feel better and more satisfied with yourself and your life due to your ability to overcome difficulties. It is not an easy habit to secure waking up early. But once you do master waking up early, you will gain much physical, emotional, and productive rewards. I personally wake up every day between 5 and 6 a.m., more often at 5 a.m., and notice that most of my productive hours of the day come right after my morning run, um, about an hour and a half after I wake up. However, you will notice that by mid-afternoon, you may reach the peak of daytime tiredness. And this happens to everyone, not only people who wake up early. This happens usually after lunch when the digestive system is using up most of your energy and the brain desires a rest. If your aim is to stay productive and to stay in control of your emotions, then a nap is the best thing you can do for yourself. Albert Einstein, Aristotle, uh, John F. Kennedy, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, Margaret Thatcher, Na Napoleon Bonaparte, and Thomas Edison and Winston Churchill all understood the power of taking a nap after they're using their brains to a great degree. They believed it helped them get twice as much done. In fact, Churchill said that you should not think that you will be doing less work because you sleep during the day. You will actually be able to accomplish more. Now, Salvador Dali and Einstein recognize the importance of napping but not reaching deep sleep and they said that this micro napping as they called it increases imagination and creativity they both would fall asleep holding something metal in their hand metal object and then when it fell from their hands when they entered deep sleep it would make a noise and wake them up to ensure that they wouldn't reach a state uh, of deep sleep they would reach a state that they were half asleep and half awake, which is a great state for inspiration, creativity, and genius. Research says, says that the best time to take a nap is between 1 and 4 p.m., and the nap should last between 20 and 40 minutes to avoid deep sleep. Take your nap in a quiet place, sitting on a comfortable chair, or lying on your back. These are the best positions to incorporate micro-napping during your day. Napping is also great for students since napping helps support the learning process. You, In fact, you learn faster and you will maintain more of what you learn after you take a rest. Napping also reduces hyperactive, inattentive, and impulsive behaviors. People who are known to be very self-controlled may lose their self-control during the later hours of the day if they don't take a rest. A lack of napping and resting their minds has sometimes ruined whole careers due to lack of self-control in the later parts of the day. Um, weight loss is also a lot easier when you uh, regularly nap since napping affects hormone levels. The immune system also relies on rest to, f rest to function best throughout the long hours of the day. 
And a regular habit of napping is also associated with a longer lifespan. When examining the blue zones, where these blue zones, people generally live healthier and much longer lives than the average, it seems that all blue zone areas incorporated the healthy habit of midday naps. Another fact is that people living in the blue zones also spend quality time with friends and family, which was another factor very important for longevity. And it is known that taking a regular nap in the afternoon helps with relationships as well. Napping actually helps people get along better with other people. There are less feelings of anger, less mood swings, less impulsiveness, less anxiety, and increased motivation and emotional stability. What could be better? Also, when you care for your needs, this sends the message to your subconscious mind that you love and respect yourself, a very important message since you act from your subconscious mind most during most hours of the day. For you to reach your best, the best version of yourself, I truly recommend making the habit of waking up early to seize the day while taking a nap in the afternoon to restore and revitalize your body and mind. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, am I sleeping enough? And do I need an extra boost of creativity or more self-control or calmness later, later in the day? If your answer is yes, then take on the habit of taking a short nap when you feel the need or whenever you are feeling loss of control over your life or over your emotions. As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions, so that you can make sure that you're moving your life to the best place for you. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I have permission to sleep so I can refresh, restore, and revitalize my mind. I have permission to sleep so I can refresh, restore, and revitalize my mind. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because with repetition and affirmation has the power to completely transform your life. So thank you very much for joining me today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And also, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better level for you. Thank you very much for joining.